Hello, my friends. I'm B.J. Owens. I'm the Dean of Trinity Cathedral in Cleveland, Ohio. Today is um, Thursday, March 23rd. It's been a tough week. As we prepare for Holy Week that begins with Palm Sunday, but also the story of Jesus' uh, passion, a story of suffering, of sacrifice, and very sadly, a story of violence. We look back on the past week and we see a similar story of tragedy and violence as we look back at two mass shootings that have happened in our nation. One, just a week ago, a shooting of eight people in um, in Atlanta, Georgia, six of whom were uh, of Asian descent. We see that amidst a backdrop of increase over weeks and months and even over the past year of violence, hate crimes, and threats of violence against Asian people and against people who are profiled as Asian. And then just days later, another mass shooting at a grocery store in Colorado. Uh, Lord have mercy. Our hearts are breaking, uh, not only at the tragic loss, but our failure as a nation, as a community, to, to find a way forward uh, and does not see this happen anymore. I want you to join me in prayer for those who have been lost, but if you also feel so inclined, I invite you to join me this coming Sunday uh, at, at a rally uh, called Stop Asian Hate. Hate. It'll be in Asia Town. I'll be there. Ginger Bittikofer and other members of Trinity will be there. We'll gather. The rally is from 1 to 3. We'll be gathering 1245 to 1 uh, there at East 33rd in Payne. I hope you'll join us. Of course, we'll be wearing masks, socially distance. Um, if you feel comfortable and safe doing so, if not, I hope you'll lift up in prayer. Uh, not only is there the loss that comes from mass shooting, uh, from the continued loss in our nation, uh, loss of life to guns, uh, but more importantly, to the pain behind behind it, the pain that was caused, but also the root of hate the, the that fueled this. We see when we're looking uh, at at the um, the rise in in threat uh, hate crimes uh, and threats of violence against Asian Americans, we see in that deep sin that is connected to all of these conversations we've been having around why God calls us to be the beloved community. Because when we live in a world where we treat one another as other as less, when we divide this world up. Based, uh, based upon the lines of our own bigotry, when we divide it along race uh, around distinctions that we've created for ourselves, that keep us from seeing the image of God in one another, that keep from seeing the beauty uh, in our diversity, then we fall away from the kingdom of God that God envisions, the, be the beloved community, which I think is a stronger word for this. And then we fall into a, into what is far more a reflective reflection of our own egos. That is sin. This Sunday, as we begin Holy Week, we do so looking at Jesus carrying the cross. We see the violence done to Jesus. And we know that that too is sin. And we realize that all violence really has the same root. So when we speak up to support our kindred, our friends, we also are making a profound theological statement that we believe God calls us to something more, that God calls us to be something more complete together, that it means leaving our own fears, that means leaving the barricades and the barriers that we create around our own egos and our own uh, sense of self. We instead go to places where we lift up those who feel unsafe, those that have been made to feel like they don't belong. So if you're willing to join us, I hope you will this Sunday. If you can't, and we certainly understand, I hope you'll hold us in prayer. Pray for our city, our country, uh, pray for our communities, pray for our friends of Asian descent uh, who have experienced a heightened level of fear in the past weeks and months. I hope you'll join me in prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, I ask for your presence here today, for those who have lost their lives, for those who have lost loved ones in the mass shootings of the past few weeks. I ask that you be with them, be with those who are grieving, 
and welcome those who have died into your embrace. We pray for those of Asian descent. Uh, we give thanks for their presence among in our communities as we give thanks for the great diversity of the human family. We also pray for those who are experiencing fear, who see an increase in hatred and bigotry and begin to feel um, less than fully valued. Help our nation, our community, our city to heal. Help us to lift one another up in love. Help us to become the beloved community that you call us to be. Amen.